and review. Well, I went online and I ordered myself up a We The People 6 Hour 1911 blowback CO2 pistol. Um, I was on the fence about actually purchasing this because the finish looked different on every kind of review that I saw. And I wasn't sure that it would, you know, um, that I'd like the gun, to tell you the truth, with that distressed finish. I was, I'd see some that I kind of liked, and I'd see another video, and I kind of didn't. So, but for $100, $99, I decided to order one and, and check it out. So, you're viewing this for the first time, as am I. So, we'll go through this process together and see if it lives up to expectations. I really don't expect much for $100, but you never know, right? It is six hour. Let's uh, let me do this. I ordered this one up on eBay. Um, probably the best price I could find it realistically. And this feedback of the seller was great. I, I ordered a lot of stuff on eBay. It's just, uh, there we go. It's the packaging that they all show, for sure. You know, let's see. I like to read this stuff myself. 320 feet per second. Semi-automatic, full metal blowback slide. The gun is up full metal, I can tell just by the half. This is a very heavy 1911. 12-gram um, CO2 cartridges, of course, and it is 4.5 millimeter BB. Um, barrel length is 4.3 inches. Now, I really like that SIG does this on the back of their packaging. It gives you the barrel lengths. Um, does not have an accessory rail. This does have, but, but it does have a skeletonized trigger, which is nice. The gun weighs about two and a quarter pounds, so that's cool. And it's all leather and weathered. So let's take a peek and see what exactly what we're getting. I can tell you it's appealing through the plastic, but let's get our hands on it. about disassembly on these. I like them to handle like the real thing and, and, and disassemble like the real thing. So well, they give us some package of BBs. And then we have our We the People 1911 manual. How to field strip. That's a good page to open up to. So but I'm not going to use that. We're going to see if it field strips like it should. I can tell you this, it looks good. It feels good in the hand. Rattles like a real 1911. Ambidextrous safety. Now that's something I wish that they would address. I, I just, I see this a lot, where they show the CO2 cartridges inside the magazine, I know, but you know, enthusiasts like us, we, we want it to, at least the magazine, to look solid. Um, SIG, I really wish you'd do that and make a realistic looking magazine. Um, but as far as the weight and feel of the gun goes, it seems like a 1911. Back strap safety feels right. Trigger, it is a, it's not a dual stage trigger, but it is a trigger. Ambi safety should go on safety with trigger back, and that does work. Let me have your trigger card. Yeah, okay. That's a very realistic sound right there. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That is your typical 1911 sound. That actually sounds better than the, uh, the gun of John Wick there, the uh, Tehran Tactical. Um, replica, which is an awesome gun if you saw my video on that. This one actually sounds better. Um, it does have a, the slide tolerance is not as good as that, but that's a beautiful gun. But we're comparing apples to oranges right now. This is more a military style, um, non-tactical, just with a skeletonized trigger. Um, trigger feel. I guess about three, three and a half pounds, if I had to guess. I don't have anything to test it with. It does look good. It does have the caliber on the side, caliber 177, uh, 4.5. does have a unique serial number. It does say six hour, 1911 in the barrel in 1776. The weathered finish 
is actually really nice on this. I thought it might have been something that, um, I've seen some of these where they actually look like they weren't that distressed, and this one does look good. The only thing that I cannot stand about this gun is this made in Taiwan, and the um, warning, not a toy, kind of um, labels that they put on the side. I don't know why they, some companies do that and some don't. Um, no gun's a toy. So that just goes without saying. <sighs> So we really don't, they don't put those on the side of real firearms. We shouldn't have the ones on the side of these. We, we know it's not a toy. Um, the magazine. It's got a it's decent drop, gravity. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's spring. This one is a spring. It does spring out, which is a nice, but of course it's not as fast as the Teflon coated one in the... Baba Yaga, but uh, it's decent. Feels good. A little harder to find without the flavor magwell, but it's very decent. Okay. So let's try disassembly on this and see what we have. Um, should disassemble like a regular 1911. Let's check it out. Pull it back. We'll line that up. Pull that pin out. There we go. Beautiful. The lower's a nice hunk of metal that is done very well. That's pretty impressive. The upper is also very nice. This is this is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Very nice. Be interesting to see the blowback on this. I'm not gonna pull this apart and pull the spring out right now. We're gonna fire this before uh, and do another uh, video on this before I go any farther as far as that goes and I'll we'll test out some accuracy and I know guys you guys you'd like to see a lot of shooting and and I'll be honest with you I don't do a lot um, simply because results may vary um, my tests are different than other people's and and quite frankly it's easy to cheat on anything I mean I could say this shoots great and cheat and show it it's nothing can be in real time so it t there's a lot of variables. If I'm am I doing it from a gun vice? Am I doing it freehand? Am I getting used to the am I getting used to the gun and I don't can't control it yet? So, time with a gun is really what it's about. Um, I can't really do a shooting shooting impression video um, out of the box and, and, and think that I'm going to be you know um, that's the capabilities of the gun because there's a lot of it is this human error. So it takes time to get used to anything, especially when you're shooting stuff different all the time. Um, Although I would like to show you some shooting stuff, I just, it's hard. It really is hard. I mean, to give you any realism of what's really going on, I'm gonna have to set up cameras in real time for, for my position and the position of the target and the, everything's timed together and it's just, right now it's not feasible for me and I wish I could guys, but I just can't. But, that being said, I will tell you the truth on how everything shoots and my opinion of it. This gun appears to be made quite well especially for a blowback air pistol. Um, I bought it mainly for a wall piece, but we'll have to see. I may, I, I do like the feel of it. I really, really do. So yeah, it comes apart like a standard 1911. There is no, uh, there's no tricks or anything to it. It just lines up and should just pop together right here. And they, they make it really hard to see that group. Yeah, there it is. It's um, very decent. I don't know if you could see it or not, but that, I mean, the end of the barrel is very, it, this is, this looks nice. Um, the optics on it lack a lot to be desired. They're, um, they're definitely not something that draws your eye. You kind of got to search. Um, the gun feels good. Feels like a 1911, but you definitely, definitely have to search for those sights. Um, Definitely not like the Baba Yaga. That thing draw you, boom, you're on those optics. It just draws right to it. You're at target immediately. This one, you search a little bit. So maybe we can add a tactical rail, uh, maybe a slip over on the bottom to put a laser on this um, for fast acquisition. Maybe not, maybe we'll just put it in the case. And I got a little something ordered for this particular gun. Um, I got some nice We The People grips coming for it. So they were a little pricey, but I figured if it's gonna go in the case, you know, that might, uh, 
that might be the look that we're going for. Now, um, yeah, so as far as modifications go, I don't know what we can do to this other than the grips, but we can see. Um, the writing's definitely gonna be gone. We'll do something with that. The gun's already distressed, so I'm not worried about damaging the finish. Anything, it's probably gonna be pretty easy to do, and if I can, I'll get a video out of it too. So basically, guys, that's the unboxing. Six Hour 1911. Feels good. First, initial impressions are great, except for the magazine. Function's great. Just don't like the cutout. That's a personal preference, but that's just me. So I will be back with more, and I thank you for watching.